A common question I'm often asked about regarding iOS screen recorded videos is this. Why does it leave a blank space on either side of a video after it's been uploaded to YouTube? Well, this is the video that answers that question and what you can do about it. We need to start with a quick lesson in video resolutions. The video standard these days is usually 1080p. What does this mean? Well, this video you are watching was made in 1080p. The actual resolution is 1920 by 1080 and that's how many pixels make up the image. 1920 horizontal pixels and 1080 vertical pixels. If you ever hear the term 720p, that's the size of this white box. 1280 horizontal pixels by 720 vertical pixels. The important thing to remember is that YouTube uses this sliding scale of video shape. Okay, with that in mind, let's take a look at two Airshow recordings. One recorded on an iPad Mini 4 and one recorded on an iPhone 7, both set to 1080p quality on Airshow. We'll take a look at the iPad Mini video first. Look at the resolution. We can see 1080, but we can't see 1920. Instead, it's 1440. What does this mean? Well, let's take a look. As you can see, we have some missing pixels, and this is simply down to the shape of the iPad mini. It's more square than most devices, and this leads to 500 missing pixels on the horizontal side of the video, which is why you have these blank spaces on either side. So although Airshow and other screen recorders may say they are recording in 1080p, you never truly get 1080p, and this will be reflected in the final video that's uploaded to YouTube. You can click on the video settings and it says 1080p, but you're always going to lose that dead space on either side of a video. Okay, now onto the iPhone 7 screen recording, which looks even more confusing at first glance. A 1080p Airshow recording actually records at 1334 by 750. Well, what the hell does that mean? Well, on a 1080p video, it looks something like this. The reason it looks so small is because the resolution of the iPhone 7 is surprisingly quite small, but it's not as bad as what you might think. Fortunately, iPhone video resolution can scale up to 1080p as a perfect fit, and it also scales down to 720p perfectly too, and that's exactly what happens when you upload your videos to YouTube. Click the video settings and you'll notice iPhone recordings scale down slightly from 750 to 720. So although you're losing pixel quality, at least you don't have any dead space. So how can you fix these issues? Well, with the iPad mini recordings, you can, through a video editor, stretch the video to fill the screen and you'll just about get away with it. Or you can move the video to one side and maybe add a graphic like this. Essentially, you're adding layers to the video, and you can do this on PCs and Macs with pretty much any video editor worth its salt, or with CuteCut Pro on iOS devices. I've already done a quick guide on how to do this, so for more information, click on the link on screen now. With iPhone recordings, you can upscale to 1080p if you want to, but there isn't much point because you won't gain any quality. The video just might end up being a bigger size. Now, of course, everything I've told you so far is relevant to landscape screen recordings. When it comes to portrait screen recordings, then it doesn't matter what device you use, there's going to be massive spaces on either side of your video. In this circumstance, it's actually better recording with an iPad, because when you use an iPhone, you are using barely a quarter of the screen. There's nothing you can really do about this, you're recording in portrait to play back in landscape. The video has to be squashed to fit everything in. If you try and stretch the image, it's going to look terrible, so the only option you have is to add some layers and fill up those blank spaces. And that just about wraps it up. These loose rules should apply to all iOS screen recorders, so it then becomes your choice as to how they fit into your YouTube dimensions. If you have any further questions, fire them my way and I'll see if I can help you out. And for more content just like this that helps you get the best out of your screen recording experience, then smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.